Everybody, good evening and welcome to our complaint this evening for Monday of Holy Week. So let us just still ourselves as we come into God's presence this evening. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The psalm is Psalm 139, and its verses 1. To 18. O oh Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place. You are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a t word on my tongue. But you, O oh Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand holds me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, for my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written. As day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! 
If I count them, they were more in number than the sand. And at the end, I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The scripture reading is from Zechariah, chapter 12, verse 10. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. So we come to a time of prayer. We have a moment of quiet where we offer up to God all those people, all those events, all those things that lie in our heart today. And we just take a moment to identify all of those things and to hold them and to offer them to him. And this prayer is, is the prayer said today at Canterbury Cathedral. Prayers have been said every day at Canterbury Cathedral for more than 1,400 years, and millions of people have prayed there every day. Loving God, we bring you our thanks for all that has been. We pray for open hearts to receive today as a gift, a new page, a new chapter in the journey of our lives. Fill us with your wonder and your love, your gentleness and peace. Help us to use each moment for your glory and show us how we might be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, Amen. And may God hold you in his love and fill you with his peace today and every day. Amen.
and the collects. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy, we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.